This your boy Rico Red. Shout out to Drop the Heat. And we here. Drop the Heat on a very special edition right here in Greenhouse Studios, Midtown Manhattan. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. We got a new face on the scene on Drop the Heat. Who are you, my brother? Go Rico Red, what's good, my brother? What's going on, my G? How's everything? How's everything, bro? Where are you from before we even get into this topic about who Rico Red is? Because I know your name used to be Puerto Rico Red. Feel me? Let's get into the topic. Like, feel me? Who is Rico Red? I was born in Puerto Rico and raised in Atlanta, Georgia. On uh -huh. the east side. On the east side of Atlanta? Yeah. Okay, how's the vibes in Atlanta? Like, right now. 2022, feel me? I heard it's real good place to go and network right now. Yeah, yeah, that's where all the music is. Of course, you gotta come to Atlanta. I've never been there before, but I'm trying to go out there this year, bro. So I'm trying to get a big Airbnb for at least a month, bro. Cause feel me? If I go out there, you gonna show me the ropes? Yeah, yeah it's lit. Now I'm dead ass, bro. I'm gonna call you and be like, Yo, bro, you remember me? I interviewed you. I take me to the strip clubs or some shit. Feel me? Sure, it's lit. I bet, bet, bet. I bet. Before we got the before we got the camera rolling, you were showing me some unreleased shit, bro. I don't want to say too much, bro. But you got you got some bangers on the way, bro. Yeah, and you yeah. got a song dropping tonight, also, right? Yeah. What's the word? What's the word with the song dropping tonight? Let's get some promotion going, man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's that yeah yeah featuring Cali. You know they already know. You got that yeah yeah for the ladies. You got that yeah yeah. Uh huh. You know, go get that. I I fuck with the song. Feel me, Cali. Another good artist. Feel me. Watch it here on Drop the Heat. He's been here as well. So. Yo. What's what's going on with your brand, bro? Are you a fly, you a fly cat? You, I, see, I met you last night at Forty Forty Club. What's next for Rico Red? Like, what you trying to do with your with your brand? What is the what is the big purpose for your brand? Go to, going to the top, to the, being one of the biggest in the game. Yeah, being one of the biggest. I am, you know. Okay, okay. Not playing at all. When when you in Atlanta, how like when you in Atlanta, and then you. Hop around from studio to studio. Do you get like the same love everywhere? Because a reason I ask that is because in New York it's not like that. Feel me? You could you could have you could make you could be from the Bronx, but then you can't go to, to studio. You won't get the same like love in a studio in like Queens because niggas don't know you. Feel me? But in Atlanta, I've heard stories where you go here, treat you. Oh, it's love. It's love. It's love. Oh, you do music. I right, bet we gonna help you with this. Like I mean, yeah, me? like you just gotta you know it be Atlanta like the network. You know, as yeah. long as you ain't got no problems with nobody or nothing, you good really. You know, everybody just good out there. It's like more like family. Yeah, people just like the network really though. Like everybody get along as long as there ain't no bullshit or nothing. And what about and what about like the parties? I'm asking about this shit because I'm really planning to go out. Of course, there, bro, yeah. I, I really I see the movies and shit. I'm like, yo, this shit lit out there. Like for real, I'm just, that's why I'm asking so much about the. For sure. I, like, I like the coach and everything. I just don't like Trey Young, bro. No cap, <laughs> I don't fuck with him. So don't even. We're not even gonna talk about him. Yeah, young, young beast. <laughs> yeah, yo. What about what about like the other influences that's in that's in Atlanta, like the Migos and stuff? Do you ever like look up to them or anything when it comes to your craft? Nah, not really. What about anybody that's like Gucci Man? Any do you get inspired by any of the legends in Atlanta? I mean, you know, there's a lot of legends that put on for Atlanta, but mm -hmm. I won't say like. I just be looking up to them. I just be like, boy, they did it. Like, yeah, you know, like, they represented. They came out and did their thing. You know what I'm saying? So yeah. Like, boy, I, feel, I be feeling like shit. They can do it. I can do it. Definitely, definitely, definitely. You have a you have a good music pattern also where with your cadence you you rap but then you could make the melodic shit as well, yeah, bro. Yeah, yeah. How can how how does that differentiate you from other rappers? Because other rappers probably can't do it. What you I mean? Like, <laughs> no, nah, I said I'm not like that, but I'm saying like. They probably can't do it. Like, you know, some rappers just being stuck in one lane and making mm -hmm. certain kind of music in one lane. Like, mm -hmm. me, I can switch all over and go all over with it. Like, but that's what I like to do. I like to try new shit. I don't like, I don't want to just make music that's just in one lane. Like, I want to get them, like, when I get them a tape, I want them to be like, damn, I can listen to soul music on here or yeah. I can listen to, like, fast music. That's yeah. what I want my tapes. I, I want my tape to be. Do you focus, do you focus more on, like, like, the women audience or like the the male audience or like you more unisex like what's your audience mostly like for Rico Red? I mean, I just go by the studio and make the songs I feel like mm -hmm. I'm feeling that day. So if I hit a beat and that sound like a female beat, I'll make a female song. Or if I like hear some fast, you know, it'd be like a, for the niggas or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Like this is all depends how I'm feeling that day. But I usually be ditching more to the side for the female. Yeah. Sometimes, yeah. 
Told him and told me about your label, Wolfpack the label, man. Going yeah, crazy. Shout out media to going crazy media days. Sure. Mad shit going on with y'all. What's going on with that label? Like you they gonna get you to the next step. I know they about to put promotion behind all they artists. You yeah. know what I mean? Can you talk to me about the label a little bit? Man, Wolfpack is just like family, it's like dope. You know, little baby came from that and uh, you know, us, we grinding, upcoming artists. Mm -hmm. We coming from that, you know. Uh, and it's just like the CEO is just like family, you know. He he go hard for his art. It's like he don't do no playing. So it's like if you on Wolfpack, <laughs> you gonna do something. That's fire. Cause he gonna go hard. I'm loving that. I'm loving that. So all the team, if one person, if everybody doing their shit, the train, the train keep rolling. For sure. What well, you see is something next five years, man. Shit, man. Hopefully, I see myself. You know, the next five years, and hopefully, one of the biggest in the industry, like, and one that come to my lane. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. Can't really say where well, I see myself out of the way because I can't really, like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But I see myself as, like, one of the biggest. Like, I feel like I might be, like, one of the biggest in my lane. That's how I feel. What's up, what's up with anybody that you want to work with that you haven't even seen in person yet? Like, feel me? Uh, like, I'm talking, I know you live in Atlanta. You probably see mad niggas. Who's somebody you never seen in person that you want to? That I never seen? Never seen in person that you want to? No, I've been around a lot of people, so I see. Them. Nah, I feel, I feel you. That's what I, I, mean, I had to work with them. Yeah, but people that I seen or that they haven't seen, but I would like to work with like, like Drake. Drake is one of my favorite artists. Yeah, goals. that's the goat. Mm -hmm. Drake, Ride Wave, I like Ride Wave. Be dope. Yeah, uh, I would like to work with like when it comes to female, like Doja Cat, Mulatto. I like, I like that. I like that. I like that, bro. That's fire. Dope. You know, just different people with good energy. You know. Whatever, like make good music. Let's like, just, just make these hits. That's what I'm all about. I yo, notice that. Notice how I said, "Tell me somebody that you never seen before." He's like, "Yo, bro, I don't know if I could feel me." So you be outside. Yeah, you I've be been, outside like, networking. You be trying to. Since I was young, I like I've been outside. So it's like I met a lot of people. Yeah, I seen I seen in your repertoire that you was you started this shit at like 16 years old, 17 years old, taking music serious, right? Yeah. Okay. And how and how how has been the difference? Because now we got social media, bro. So you can see. When you were 16, we didn't have a lot of social media. There's a lot more yeah. words of mouth shit now. I mean, like, what? How do you feel about the about like the outcast? How I mean, we push music today? That's just different because, like, you know, like back then, you can just like walk up to people and like give them your CD. Yeah. You know, or like, you know, hustle and do other stuff. Like now, it's like this is make it a little more easier for people. Like, all you gotta do is just, like do internet, mm -hmm. YouTube, different stuff that can get yourself popping. Like, people can see it on Instagram. Yeah. Then just have to. But me, my, but I still like me. Even though they got all that, I still might go outside, like to all the clubs and get my shit All right. Like I was all right, no problem. No problem. No problem. Why did you choose your name, your artist name? Uh -huh. Yeah, like why did you choose your artist name? Because you changed it a couple times. Uh, but why? I, I know there's a history behind I it. it. Twice because I'm black and Puerto Rican. Yeah. 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 I just felt like it was too long for the people from Puerto Rico Red. Some people don't really know how to spell Puerto Rico Red. Yeah. Not a lot of people. How you spell it? Yeah. So it can be more easier for the people because I didn't want to make it difficult for them. So, I like that. I like that. I, I thought. I thought I thought you was about to give me a story like nah, cause you know I was in Puerto Rico. Nigga shot at me. I had to change my story from Puerto Damn, Rico nah, to. Yeah, I, 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 yeah, <laughs> feel nah. me? Not everybody got a got a got a yeah, story I, to something. Feel yeah, me? I, chill, I don't be beefing with nobody, man. I'm nah, trying, that's what's I'm up. I'm trying to give me some money. Yeah, that's what's up. I'm trying to give me some money too. For a fact. Um, how's how's everything like with your personal life? You got a family? You got any kids or anything? No, I ain't got no kids. Oh, okay. Of course, family members, no brother. Yeah. I'm trying to, you know. And what do you see? And what do you see yourself like with your music? Do you see your music like touching like commercials or anything? Because that's the big bag right of there. Course. Feel me? Because the songs that you just play me that you gonna release, that's just sound like it could be on in Euphoria. If you know, you know, for yeah. real. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna keep working hard, you know, to keep making all the hits I can make, and hopefully my music be everywhere. Like these other artists, you know, to be on TV, movie, anything. Yeah, you thought about acting? Hell yeah, yeah, bro. I can see. Feel me? I can see. Think about that. Uh huh. I think a lot of people think about that when they. Like, yeah, I would love to be in the movie. What's so the, you watch, you watch, Star, you watch Power. Hell yeah! Yeah, I bet I can see you. I can see you in Power. And I knew Tommy shit, nigga. You go. I can see you in that. No cap, no cap. Yeah. 
I fuck like with that. Crackhead, anything. <laughs> Little Michi, or whatever. I feel you, bro. Is there anything you got to say to the people before we get out of here, bro? Yeah. Uh, if you want to follow me on any social media or all platforms, you can find me at Rico Rare, R I C O R E D. R I C O R E D. You already know what's going on. It's your boy, Will Gates. I got my boy, Rico Red to the left of me. We in Greenhouse Studios. Got to yeah, drop yeah, the yeah. heat. Five year anniversary. We already know what's going on. We out of here. Chill. Bow.